We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. Hi, I'm your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we get a special treat. I get a chance to dive in and check out Star Ocean, the Divine Force. It is by Triace and Square Enix, releasing on October 27th, 2022. This is the PlayStation 5 version of the game. And a big shout out and sincere thank you to Square Enix for hooking me up with the code for this. I wasn't sure, and it came my way, and it's just... It's humbling. It always is. So thank you. Thank you very much. Um, of course, this game is very story-driven, and there will be spoilers. So beware of spoilers. If you guys want to check out the game a little bit and then pick it up on your own, uh, you know, we're going to be showcasing at least a few spoilers throughout. So be aware of that. And without any further ado, let's get on into it. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so there's a little videos of them on either side. Okay, okay. Okay, um, hmm. We have Blonde X-Man. He got, he, got he got a little X on, on his chest. And then we got Armored Gal. With cool headpiece. And the weird little, like, cinnamon bun hairstyle thing going I don't know. Okay, okay. We're just gonna... Oh, I thought I could hold it. Alright, I'm just gonna keep hitting the button, keep hitting the button, and we're gonna let fate decide, and... There it is. Fate hath decided. And Faith had said it is uh, the gal. Alright, we have Earth. Uh, it's easy difficulty, suitable for beginners. A good choice if you have trouble playing action games. Standard difficulty. Try this if you want a well-balanced challenge. And Universe! Brutal difficulty suitable for players confident in their abilities. Select this if you want challenging uh, frenetic combat. I've been trying to up my overall difficulty selections as of late. Uh, short of some tactical games, because I find tactical games already have a pretty solid. We're gonna go with we're gonna go with normal this time. Uh, I like I said overall I've been upping it. I think this time we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna go with normal. All right, voice language we have between a Japanese and English. That'll make a lot of folks happy. I, of course, am going to run with the English voice acting. Ooh, it looks really good. It's like that immediate screen. It's like, ooh. I understand my daughter sought your counsel. And you refuse to entertain her flights of fancy, correct? It is no mere fancy, my lord. She does this for the sake of the people. We do not doubt her good intentions. It is the method with which we take issue. Highness. Good intentions, pet. Highness. My daughter, she is young and foolhardy, and will need your support. Highness. Oh. I heard you, Albert. What is it? Did you, though? Are you unwell? <laughs> no, I am quite all right, thank you. A little awkward silence. Yeah. Is that a shooting star? Could be. Could also be something totally it different. It must be. Right? Yeah. But it was so low. Come. Oh. Well, we're Highness, just, we're just gonna go run after it. Okay. Now I just want to point out uh, this is something that I I've always loved from the very first time I heard of a Star Ocean game till now. I, I love the concept of calling space, you know, the sky, uh, the Star Ocean. I, I just think that's very poetic and, and it's very awesome. And even to this day, it still just makes me smile thinking of it as a Star Ocean. Star Ocean, the Divine Force. All right, let's see what kind of craziness we're going to get ourselves into. Icons will mark your destination in the story. Use the icons to proceed to the destination. Albert, you are falling behind. Ooh. Forgive me. Ooh, it's chunky in the I controller. In the world, Ooh, that? I like we it. We must investigate at once. It's a, a little weird. To have like like a constant rumble going. The woods are perilous at this hour. Please, oh, I it feels beg you. Oh, it feels chunky. Oh, Perhaps we can sprint. Perhaps we should All get right. a closer look. You should not approach unidentified objects. Oh. Let us hide. 
Wait, why, why are we hiding? There, I, there was an invisible wall. I don't want to hide. I want to go through the invisible wall. Come on. My word. What is it? I mean... Nothing I have ever laid eyes on. I shall take a closer look. No, you mustn't. Stay back where it is safe. <sighs> oh. Hey, it's the other guy. But it cannot be. It's a person. So it was a vehicle. One that traverses the sky, no less. But how? Could it be the Empire? I... Uh, is that? Oh, what's the fiend a... of the wield? It has found him. Uh oh. He is unarmed. Your sword, Elbaird. Quickly. Who got your sword? Highness, we know not his. <clears throat> you there? Take this. What? Right, wait. Uh, oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, lady. Oh damn. This dude. Look at him. That's not a you sword. A death wish. Two arms. Job. Okay. Oh, she threw his sword. Okay. No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. All right, let's rumble. This is cool. I'm already grinning. I am gonna be so bad at this. Cut ourselves a path. Oh. Okay. Uh, different skills allow you to attack. Use items. Add buffs or debuffs. Set or damage the enemy using attack skills, which are assigned to circle, square, and a triangle. Reduce all enemies' HP to zero to win battle, of course. You need a fixed amount of AP to use particular assigned skills. If you do not have enough AP, the skill will not activate even if you press the button. AP recovers over time. You can cancel the final motion at the end of a skill by pressing a different button. This will activate the next skill immediately and let you take your next action quickly without delay. All right, lock onto the target. The other side, Hines. Is the camera not clear with it? Okay. No, I cannot. A victory well earned. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit to to fully grasp again. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you. Silence. Who are you? Sorry. <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Uh. Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission oh. from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Uh. Raymond! It's me, Antonio! Can you hear me? I love this. Ray, come in. I knew you weren't alone. <clears throat> Show yourself. Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence. Step into the light. <laughs> hey, asshole. Harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet's scorched earth. You hear me? Raymond, where are you? Yeah, maybe you should speak, buddy. How is this possible? This voice? I see oh, no one. Did what? Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Very Princess. sassy. Very if sassy. If you truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Fair. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. <laughs> and, uh, as for your butler, or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How? Dare you? <laughs> As you wish. We shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. What was that? This is, uh... This is, this is Antonio? Cool. It's me, Raymond. <sighs> Ray! Are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. Uh oh What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Whoa. Chloe's down here somewhere, too. But I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. 
We need you. Sir Raymond? Antonio? Hey, that voice! That one of Aster's friendly locals? I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land, on one condition. You answer my question. Sweet. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! <laughs> Albert! <laughs> Your comrades, have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. Girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of them. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? I love this. <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Extremely. Huh? Can it be? Oh? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Uh-oh. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edis. Sure. No passenger signal detected. Oh? Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not it's a town, no. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while halt! longer. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. Sweet. And two friendly locals could assist. Yeah, friendly. Oh, for the love of... Hang on to your beard, Albert. Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? He's not happy. <sighs> As you wish. You guys aren't like afraid that awesome. somebody's gonna hey, steal Antonio. that. Hey, or... Antonio. We'll catch up later. All right. Wish us luck. Uh, Roger that. Stay safe down there. All right. Look at that smartphone technology. Oh, it's got cloak. Okay, <sighs> that solves the question that I had. <laughs> you guys, I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right, uh, Ray. Color just feels heavier. Awesome. Right now okay, let's reason. move. So this uses like the adaptive uh, triggers and all of it. It's ah. Uh... Oh, I received special items. Acquired Ridley, uh, Lazard, Jack, Leneth. Okay. All right, so we got uh. Whoa, we are we are quick moving. We have a map screen with R two. Sure. Uh, we have a field skill, which I... Don't we usually only have a certain amount of those? I'm not going to do that now. Stop mode? Freeze time with stop mode by pressing the touchpad. You can take your time to use items, change up your strategy, and select targets. Oh, that's useful. When performing quick HP recovery, you can use a series of two-star or fewer items automatically to heal a certain amount of the party's HP. It cannot be used during battle. Press O to cancel quick HP recovery. Huh. Okay, uh, so we're going this way. We are approaching the Madoom ruins. If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Well, Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, but don't worry. I got this. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm? Oh, very well. Shall we then? It's this way, right? Can we get correct? Into... Let us continue along this path. Can we get into a fight now? Like, I don't want to cut you all cocky. off. Oh. All right, L one to dodge attacks. You can roll away and quickly put distance between you and the enemy. You can also choose what direction to dodge by using the left analog stick. Since you are invincible, able to avoid attacks at at the start, you can dodge. Okay. To close the gap while slipping past enemy projectiles. Moreover, you can perform feats, and it does not consume AP. 
However, AP recovery stops while evading. Overusing it will slow the pace of your attacks and you cannot perform skills with insufficient AP. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. So the only thing that I'm I'm not loving, and again this might just be carryover from several other different types of games, is while it's cool that we can lock on to a specific target, and I'll get used to it for sure. But uh, I'm used to the camera kind of keeping you know that as my focal point. It's it's a bit strange. Maybe there's a setting in the options, but it's a bit strange to lock onto a target and then just kind of have to control the camera myself. Not a, not a big deal. Just something that uh, is noticeable that I don't particularly love. So uh, been a while since I've swung a sword around, but I guess I still got it. My muscles are gonna be pissed at me tomorrow. Yeah, no doubt. Enemies up ahead. We shall prevail. Oh, press up or down to change the character you're controlling. You can even switch characters while in stop mode. The lower left corner of the screen displays the order of characters. Okay. If the active PC a player character becomes incapacitated, you can switch characters to continue fighting or revive that ally. Keep battling by adjusting the situation at hand. I'm well aware. <laughs> Well, that's over with. Dude, sweet. I mean, sure, these are all gimme fights at the start. We know this. Uh, Al Baird is the only one who's actually taking damage. Come on, buddy. Step it up. Look, I know you gave up your sword, but come on. So the forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here. Even if they are a little eccentric. Oh. Yeah. Ah. I see them. Uh oh. You'll perform attacks on you will perform attacks on the enemy that is marked with a target. Targets are attached automatically to an enemy on the screen, but you can also target the enemy of your choice manually. Locking on and releasing a target, use R3 to lock onto a target. If your target moves, they will they will keep an eye on the enemy. What? If your char sorry, if your character moves, they will keep an eye on the enemy, will they? And the target will not switch automatically. Oh, so basically it's not a it's not a camera lock to the target. It's just so you focus on that target with your character whenever you throw an attack, which is okay. Like I said, switching targets manually left and right on the D-pad. Okay. We'll be locked to the enemy. All right. I should probably dodge that. Okay. All right, leveling up and improving skills. When you defeat enemies and accumulate enough experience, your characters will level up and gain skill points. Use SP to strengthen skills or learn new ones. To carry that out, open the menu and go to party, check, and strengthen skills. And then skill, then the skill tree. All right. Oh, okay, I, that was good. I mean, I got slapped a little bit. I did. I did not appreciate that. That didn't feel super good. All right, so we go here. You can sort your characters, check their stats, and change their equipment level, strength level of your character. What? Oh, level is the strength level of your character. Okay, EXP is points needed to level up. HP incapacitated if it reaches zero attack, physical attack power, and magical attack power. Defense is physical defense. Guts cause evade status effects. Elemental resistance reduces magic damage. Status effect re resistance reduces likelihood of being affected by an ailment. You can switch the order of the party members by using the triangle button. Uh, when you select a character, you can open the equipment menu and change out their gear. Cool. Uh, and then down to skill tree. Oh, this is impressive. By unlocking nodes, you can boost characters' stats and learn new skills. 
To unlock a node, you must spend SP and also unlock its adjacent node. However, some nodes have other conditions as well. So this is our starting node. We can up our int, we can up our guts, HP, and then determined princess. Increased experience gained by all allies in exchange for a reduction in your own abilities. Oh, that doesn't seem like something I would want to get. The Grand Melchior. Well, that looks impressive. How about we only get one for right now, right? Expend a SP to unlock. To, where does it? I 50 SP and it costs how much? Cost 50 SP. Okay. Node unlocked. What did I just do? I just increased my attack by 16%. That's kind of impressive. Alright, Albert, if that is your real name. Huh, neat. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Generates orbiting uh, chakram. They also fire up to four projectiles when triggering uh, si semiomancy. What? Sure. No, that that totally sounds like a thing that I am 100% going to be able to do. Super easy. HP recovery during battle at regular intervals. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, we're we're doing auto healing immediately. That's not even a question. I like that a whole bunch. Okay, and then we back out and we go to Ramon. Is he still... He's still level 1. I wonder why he... he but is he? He... Oh, sorry. I was, looking at, I was looking at HP. I was like, wait a minute. Is he? No, yeah, he is. Alright, cool, 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 cool. There's a fire here. Best not turn down a chance for rest. Wait, are, are we really resting while some... Oh, oh. See, that's on me. That, that's my fault. I, I apologize for your friend and compatriot. Ooh, I got the high ground advantage there. Oh, no, we're walking through the pillars. Okay. Highness, we cannot trust this man. You, you, you're waiting until now to do this? Yet, he intrigues me. Intrigues you? And another thing. I asked you specifically to not refer to me as Highness. Curses. He knows? If not already, then he soon will. It is important we remain on the best of terms with him. If we fail, then we will need him on our side. Her voice reminds me of Puck from Dota 2. Not exactly the same, but her speech patterns, the way she talks, it just really, really reminds me of Puck. So, yeah, that that whole Those situation. Those stairs, Ooh. they lead to the entrance of the ruins. Yeah, but we got something to get up over here let's and beat go. some stuff up, so let's get it. Right. We've only to cut ourselves a path. Yeah. Right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh. Oh. All right, starting to get the the bal oop the balance down here. There it is. Yeah. Ooh, look at chest. How exquisite. Ooh, required some silver. Very nice. How exquisite. Okay, let's head on down. I don't want to look around a little bit. I kind of want to get into some more battles. I want to do some more fighting. A pretty big area here. I suppose we'll learn about jumping, maybe. Oh, I found some shroomy boys. Let's go get them. We uh, have uh, oh, I got a surprise attack off. I don't even know what that means. I mean, I know what a surprise attack is. Oh, look at all the AP you get for that. I sprinted at the like the last second. I just did like a dash charge attack. I, I didn't even know that was a thing. What is all this? You can destroy certain objects with attacking with square. You may you may find an item that way. So try searching for anything that looks breakable. Oh, exquisite. 
Huh. Okay. Oh, these are... I got a scruffy rag. That's great. So exquisite. I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm getting severely... Puck vibes here. Some severe puck vibes. Uh, jump to... Yeah. Jump to jump. Got it. Get stuff that's outside of your non-jumping range. Uh, wasn't there another blue pillar somewhere? Yeah. Le at le say, at least one. I thought I saw like three or four. <laughs> This is great. Oh, these stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. So we should go to those stairs, which look equally. Then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable. Which side? It no, I'm, I'm kidding. Jump, jump, jump. Wait, can these get broken too? No. Okay, sorry. I know I'm spinning around looking at for stuff. Uh, let's get our sprint on. Oh, we came we came from up there. Sorry, I'm getting excited. I'm like, oh, look at this place I found. That's totally where we originally entered from. That looks like that's probably the way forward after we do the the scaly jump thing. Can I fit through here? Oh, I totally can. All right, they want me to jump up this thing. I will jump up this thing. Okay. Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. Some fresh as long as whatever we cage. just saw doesn't show its ugly face again. Oh. That holds to me. That is oh coming. my goodness. Got him. Okay. Bouncing around like a crazy person, but I like it. So it looks like the key to success is you get to the outside edge, you sprint Let's toward an enemy, and then you charge and hit it before it can uh, respawn. Is that how it is for everyone that oh lives here? Oh my goodness, that was incredible. Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. I missed what he said because I was babbling. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm over here. Oh, I'll do this way. Okay. Like, I'm over here. To what end? Gotcha. The Madoon, uh, Madoom Ruins. Oh. So, this is Madoom, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osirian Semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home. Semiomancers. As written in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now... Let's focus on getting in and getting out. All right, sounds good to me. Enemies, we shall prevail. Oh, I love it so much. I love this this charge attack, um, immediate um, ambush thing. It's it's great. Oh, I'm glad I messed around with some stuff. I mean, I don't know how long before they would have taught us that, but man, that it's, it's game changing. Oh, that looks like a. A, a trap room right so there. Exquisite. Oh. Ah, oh, just so much, so much puck vibes. Do mind your footing. It is much safer not to stray from the path. Really? <gasps> no, no, nothing happened to me here. At all, nothing. Okay. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. Long has it been since this place received visitors. Traversal here will undoubtedly be treacherous. Good thing I've got you two here to show me the way. No doubt, no doubt. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Oh, yeah? Tread carefully. All right, ladies and gents. I believe... Oh, we, got a... we have a camp menu? Oh, this is great. What's a camp menu do? 
Okay, we can check our inventory. Uh, items in your inventory, you can also use any usable items. Two things are still locked. Uh, you can view the synopsis. Uh, terms and other information. Very, very cool. And you can change the controls and other various settings here. All right, ladies and gents. Am I actually able to say, hey, I am. I think we're going to break off the first episode right here. Uh, again, a big shout out and a massive thank you to Square Enix for giving me up the code for this. It does mean a tremendous amount, and I am truly grateful. Um, so many incredible games coming from Square Enix as of late. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the is it Tactics Ogre, Ogre Tactics. I can never remember the name of it. Reborn, that's coming up soon. Oh, it looks incredible. And you guys know that is that is 100% the perfect fit for the channel. I can't wait. Uh, this is great. I'm loving this to death. I can't wait to play some more, and I'm going to immediately after this episode. If you guys like what you saw and you want to see some more, like, share, subscribe. You guys know the score. For more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, publisher, any of that stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links, just like it always is. I'll try to include, like, all platforms it's on, like, links to those stores so you guys can grab and pick up the game yourselves. And like I said, as, you know, moving forward, I will try to mention it um repeatedly and it'll always be at the top of the description that you know this is obviously a story driven game with lots of twists and turns and things so spoilers 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 throughout the entire let's play so just be aware of that folks anyway thank you so much for stopping by the freak show i have been your host bumpy mcsquiggums play we fight we conquer